Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we will show you a guide to multiple methods to try if you encounter the Steam Cloud error Steam was unable to sync your files. Error message on Steam. This error can be triggered due to multiple reasons. It can occur due to corrupted preferences, configurations and user that data files. Another reason for this error is a corrupted or a bad game file. In some cases, the error might also occur in the case of Steam servers are down, which is rare of course. Other than that, conflicts with Windows firewall or a third party antivirus may result this error. If you're facing this error on Steam, we got you covered. Follow this step by step guide to know how to fix it. The first quick thing you need to make sure of is that the Steam servers are running perfectly. Just head to the library and launch whatever game you want, a multiplier game and see if it's correctly working. In case the servers are running, you will need to try another fix. So move on to the next solution, which is delete the user data folder. You can find this folder inside the Steam directory. So this folder mainly contain accounts details, cloud configurations, and user synced data. To delete the user data folder, firstly, open the file explorer and go to your Steam directory. Now, locate the folder named user data inside your Steam folder. After that, delete the folder and then we launch the Steam and see if the error is fixed and the cloud is able to be sync your profile. Next thing you need to try is to verify the integrity of game files. Because it is quite common that game files get corrupted during the download or update process on Steam. In this case, first open the Steam app, go to the library menu, now select the game option, whatever game you want. Next, select and right click on the problematic game, tap on the properties option, then go to installed files and locate the option verify integrity of game files button and press it when the verification process is complete check if the error was fixed you can also try repairing the steam library folder in case the problem lies with it you can find a dedicated option to repair your steam library folder to do that Go to the Steam logo on the top left, select settings, head down to storage. You will see that the Steam is installed in this drive. Press those three dots and click on repair folder. Wait for the process to end and see if this fixes the problem. You can also try and delete in the client registry .blob file to fix the issues. The file stores preferences and other settings for your games. However, it can get corrupted and cause various problems on Steam. So you can try deleting it and then see if the issue is fixed. To delete this file, first close all the Steam processes from the task manager. Open your Steam folder in the directory that you have installed the app in. Go to the search on the Windows File Explorer. Look for Blob and a bunch of files with the blob configurations would appear. You choose your client registry.blob file. I deleted it before because I have encountered the error before and it fixed it. And I hope this fix your problem too. Next thing you need to do is to disable the file. Go to the Windows Shield logo. Locate the firewall option and disable the domain network, private network, and public network. Or you can go and press on allow an app through firewall. You scroll down until you find a Steam app. Select every option you see from Steam and then press OK. Next, you can try and see if your Steam app is outdated to go ahead and update it. To do that, launch your Steam app. 
head to the Steam logo top left of the application and click check for Steam client updates. As you can see, when your Steam is updated, your Steam client is already up to date. Pop-up will show to inform you that you are successfully on the latest version of Steam. And finally, of course, if none of this helped you, you can always try and reinstall the Steam app and thus this probably would fix your pop. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you on the next video.